Hello everyone and welcome to Summer Now Mana Plays Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Episode 2. We're gonna refight Weevil. He was being a little asshole. We'll just skip the intro and go to our story deck. Huh. He pissed me off a little bit there. He didn't really he never got anything truly good. I just got a lot of truly bad things. So we're gonna have to fix that. If that summon skull had come a little bit earlier, we might have had a chance. Or if that spell card had activated when I wanted it to activate, then I would have summoned Summon Skull and killed all of his cards on his opponent's team. And then we also still would not have had that problem. Although this is pretty fucking good in terms of starting off with something real nice here. Yep, let me just make Guy the Dragon Champion right off the bat if nobody, ma if nobody minds. All right, <clears throat> that is nice. This is what I need. I need, I want to move forward with the story, so I want Weevil to just be absolutely crushed under my goddamn boot. And yeah, that's like counts as a special summon, so I could summon something else even right now. And so I shall. We'll just set that, forget about it, end phase. What are you going to do, Weevil? You're going to put forest up? Terraforming, yep, always gets you the field card you want. And then you'll have that. If I had to guess, that's Maneater Bug, and you're going to use it to kill my guy, the Dragon Champion, and I'm going to hate you for it. I'm going to hate you severely for that. But we are going to still bring the pain, so to speak. We'll flip some in that. It's still... If you're going to kill... I have to assume that it's Maneater Bug. So even if it wasn't, like, it's still probably something that none of my other monsters would be able to kill defensive-wise. Yep, that's what that was. So you're a dick. You're a dick in a box, man. I hate you, and you piss me off. Man, your bug is such a cheap pile of bullshit. And, yeah. You know, basically, that's just, uh, that's just the way that, that's just the way that it goes. It's nice that they give me Beast and Beast Warrior things to help combat the boosts from this guy, but... Unfortunately, I could use a little something here. I can... Oh, this is nice. Activate that, please. Discard two cards from my hand. We'll discard Silver Fang. And Swords of Revealing Light, as dumb as it may seem. Because I need Burning Land right now. I need Burning Land to activate right now. Get rid of that forest. It doesn't make any difference in the following turn, but now we're going to summon Beaver Warrior and we're going to sacrifice one of our things to kill that thing. So we'll go to our battle and then we can attack his life points directly again. I'm going to sacrifice Beaver Warrior just because I don't like it as much as... I don't, I don't... I'm not a fan of either of the cards, but like, you know, Beaver Warrior is just... I don't like it when it shows up. It's just such a nothing card. All right. And then we'll start the countdown. It benefits me to play Burning Land now because I have more life points, so... Even if Weevil wanted to try his stall bullshit. Oh, and I got another one. Can I play two Burning Land cards? I should probably say... Oh, fuck. I don't have anything here. I'm going to save this Burning Land card. If I can, in fact, play two of them, and that in turn turns it into 1,000 life points each, that would be really nice. But also, I would like to use it to stop another forest from spawning, if that is your prerogative to do it. I need myself a monster, and that's better than that, which isn't hard to find, so please, that's exactly good. That's good. That's, that is correct right there. Okay. I hate when you start off with the advantage and then it seems to just st st steadily drip away. But we're bring it, we're going to bring it back now. So we're going to have that in phase. Keeping our burning land just in case it gets forced again. His life points will run out before mine do. That better not be Maneater Bug, by the way. Eh, Karibo. Okay. It's best to keep that. You know what that probably is, is Cocoon of Evolution. Like, you could easily just have, like, anything right now that could stop the onslaught of my 1,200 attack monster. So, straight to battle phase. We might as well attack it, see what it is. 
Petite Moth. Oh, okay, you have shit cards. That's nice to know. I could have killed that with Karibo, and then we'd have another 1,200 attack on your life points. But wh at what point would you ever decide to make that gamble? There's no reason for that. That would have been just completely reckless on my end. Okay. This is the third Yu-Gi-Oh game I've done on my channel, which my which makes you think that I'm really into Yu-Gi-Oh, and I kind of am now again. Like it's really it's brought ba it's been brought back to the surface with the release of this game. Capsule Monsters, I really enjoyed that sort of like nonsensical like different duel type of thing. Um we're st they're still not given really giving me a lot to work with here. We'll go to the battle phase. We'll attack this. Wabaku. Okay. That's another petite moth. If only... I, I don't know. There's no reason to expect that it's petite moth. He's a, so many other insects that they could be. But he just doesn't seem to be getting them. Yeah, there's been a resurgence of my admiration. There's Hercules Beetle. It is before damage calculation. Activate the effect of a... what card? I take no battle damage from that battle, but my card's still going to get hit, isn't it? That's why I'd rather save it. No, we'll... We'll let that go. Based on the language of the effect, I would assume that we would still lose Mammoth Graveyard. Otherwise, they have to word it better. But, uh, okay, so we've got Hercules Beetle here. He's finally got something to mount a comeback, but he's only got four turns to do it. Two if I play Burning Land right now. So I'm going to. And then I hope that it makes a difference. Then we'll set you down. And I've got Karibo as a backup to negate one direct life points attack. Which should help me outlast him. Five hundred. Okay, good. It is. It does do exactly what I hoped it did. Oh, and you're afraid of my card. That bodes well for me, possibly. Mammoth Graveyard again. Okay, we'll just set that. And then you can do whatever you want next turn, and you will still lose. So... I'm not in really super interested. Oh, you're just dead before you even get to do anything. Goodbye! Weevil Underwood dies! Burning Land helps save the day. It's over! I've won! No! Impossible! My moth is unbeatable! Maybe if you had actually summoned it. Uh, Killer Needle, not great. Armored Bee is a really good insect card that I just discovered in this game. Perhaps we'll see it eventually. All right, next duel is going to be Joey versus Mai. Let's do it. Yugi wasn't the only duelist who was motivated to win the tournament for a loved one. Despite being a novice duelist, Joey had his own reasons for wanting to win. His sister, Serenity. I'd better be the champion for Serenity's sake. She's always counted on me, even when we were kids. I'm going to win this tournament and a prize money. I'm going to make sure you don't lose your eyesight by paying for your surgery. I promise. This meditative moment was rudely broken when Joey and his friends heard someone laughing and taunting another duelist a short distance away. A voice that annoying could only belong to Mai. The team met Mai Valentine on the boat to Duelist Kingdom. She was a manipulative, self-absorbed duelist who had the uncanny abil ability to always know what card she would draw next. Hey, Yugi. Are your duels going well? I might be up for a duel myself. So get ready, because I choose to challenge you, Joey. What? You challenge me? Do you have the guts to accept? I accept. Let's duel. Get ready to lose. Yeah, female voice is not my strong suit, but I'll match the inflections at least. Okay, please go second. Alright, nice. My Valentine's deck obviously revolves solely around Harpy Lady and boosting the shit out of it. With a bunch of different shit. So, we're gonna try to counter that as best that we can. It's nice that we got Palmerization and Baby Dragon. Now we're just gonna be looking for Time Wizard. Although, do we even have time? Yeah, this is the duel where Joey gets Time Wizard, so that should be correct. Increase the attack of all Earth monsters by 500 points. Uh, if only Battle Steer was like four. Shit. We could turn Tiger Axe into sort of something of a Battle Steer. 
Or we could probably sacrifice him on the next turn if he remains alive. We'll keep that in my hand for now and just end our turn. Alright, uh, Harpy's Hunting Ground is something I expect to go into the field thing. Elegant Egotist puts Harpy Lady Sisters also on the field. Harpy Lady is on the field. Special Summon 1 Harpy Lady. Okay, yeah, I gotcha. Alright. So that's a problem now. She's really got everything she ever wanted to start right now. We're gonna need something fucking with the 5 stars and the 1800. There's so many 4 star cards with 1800 attack. Why did these have to be assholes? You know what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying. Unfortunately, we have to sacrifice Baby Dragon, which ruins our chance for a thousand Dragon Fusion. Because otherwise, we're gonna take hella direct damage. Shadow of Eyes. Oh, don't put it in attack position. Flip effects are not activated. That's bogus. I'm gonna enter my battle phase and enter main phase two. Is it gonna let me change it? Of course it wouldn't. Well, this is a big problem. Harpy Lady is actually weaker than I thought it was. Uh, but we still can't quite kill it, so it doesn't really matter. I equip cards, perhaps, happening right now? Steric Sign, Spell Card, which allows you to put Elegant Egotist back in your hand, which is pro Harpy Dancer, and then it's going to allow you to put another Harpy Sisters on the field. Or at least it would if you had done that. Maybe you need to wait a turn for that effect to activate. Harpy Dancer, Harpy Lady, you can target one wind monster you control, return it to the hand, then you can summon normal summon one wind monster. You can only use this effect of Harpy Dancer once per turn. This card's name becomes Harpy Lady when it's on the field or in the graveyard. Starred Ladybug of Doom. What the fuck is this thing? Destroy all level four monsters your opponent controls. That's one, two. That's nice. That's actually mildly a savior for me. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay, that's good. That's gonna block a bit of damage. Harpy Lady Sister is still... No, because Harpy Lady Sisters is probably what's gonna attack this. If you don't summon another monster, I might avoid entirely damage this turn. Let's end our phase. If I sound optimistic, it's just because I haven't looked at my life points recently. Okay, so yeah, you did attack that. So, flip effect. Destroy that. Oh, it destroyed all of them. Oh, we saved it. Okay, that's so nice. Now I need... But now, of course, I need something that's gonna work here. Because, uh, we don't got that. If they would just let me fucking summon one of my five stars here, I could use Gaia Power and kill Harpy Lady Sisters, but it's not gonna let me do that. When this card add one elegant to for your deck. During the end phase of the turn, this card was sent to the field. Sent from the field or hand to the graveyard, add up to three Harpy cards with different names from your deck to your hand. Oh, so if I destroy that, you get, like, three Harpy Ladies in your hand. So I don't want to do that, even if I have the ability. We're going to set Flame Manipulator. They're not... I have... I don't... There's nothing. I can't do anything. Like, even Flame Swordsman Fusion, which could be possible if I got Masaki the next turn, if that didn't just die, is still not something that can uh, kill Harpy Lady Sisters. What? Switch the original attack and defense of all face-up monsters currently on the field until the end phase... Unfortunately, that would hurt me in terms of you, but god damn. And now I, I got nothing here. I'm going to set this just so it looks like I'm doing something. And then we'll end our phase. Sometimes you just don't get a good draw, or sometimes the enemy gets the best draw that they could have ever asked for. And yeah, go ahead, summon another... Oh, well, that just looks like me dying. So... There's something you can do when you know that you're about to die. You can exit the game, but unfortunately that forfeits your bonuses at the end. When in trouble, take a chance with Time Wizard. Great! Next time I get Time Wizard, I'll try that out. Thanks for Harpy Dancer and con Consolation Dual Points. But if you skip out, you don't get dual points and whatnot. But it saves you a bunch of time, like if you know right from the beginning that it's, uh, that it's all going to hell. So you, I guess you can leverage your time versus other stuff. But we'll refight my. We are going to start to get to the point where I'm pretty much going to lose every duel at least once. Unless I get really good draws. You know, it's all about the draws. There's not a lot you can do at this point, you know? Like, there's nothing I did wrong. They just didn't let me summon my big monsters there. 
Okay. If you were going to start off with Harpy Lady, that would be cool if I had starred Ladybug of Doom that could kill it and then grant me. Before we make any rash decisions, let's use Graceful Charity. Which gives me... Okay, we discard. I don't need... Oh, I need Kunai with Chain, though. Target, charge, target one phase of monster you control. Put this guy in here. Okay. I need, I like Kunai with Chain. I want to get rid, even though, since we have Polymerization, I don't want to get rid of Baby Dragon. I don't want to get rid of Dark Hole either. Because I could really use that to get out of a jam. I'm going to get rid of Battle Steer. And I'm going to get rid of, fuck. I can't get rid of Four Star Ladybug. I can't get rid of any, I want, I'm going to get rid of Gaia Power. Unfortunately. Because we don't have the Earth Monsters to make that strategy work right now, so it, it's a thing. Okay, so, I will set you... I'm not gonna set you... Yes, I am. I'm gonna set you right now. I'm not gonna activate you on the next turn. It's just annoying sometimes, because when you get, like, spell or trap cards that could activate at any time, they will prompt you non-stop with every single phase about, um, you know, like, would you like to activate this card now? Oh, no, five seconds later, would you like to activate this card now? Okay, so you got 1,900 there. I could turn you into defense mode. Does that say 1,300? You're still four stars. So I'm not going to activate the effect of the card because flipping my ladybug is actually just going to kill you anyway. Monster is... No, I... D yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Enter the dam... I've activated the effect of the card? No. All right, so you're dead. And it does kill me too, which is totally fine. You're gonna oh, you son of an ass. Wow. That is low. Oh, you dick. You're gonna make me dark hole, because otherwise I got nothing. Oh, Jerry Beans Man is nice, though. That's the kind of low a star person that I can get behind. It's almost better than that five star right there. But, unfortunately, we're gonna have to dark hole here. Destroy all monsters on the field, not even just the spells. So we'll summon Jerry Beans Man and get a free shot at your life points, and I'm gonna feel real nice about it. No, activate the effect of a card. Get the fuck away from me. It's annoying. It really is. No. 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 God damn it. Fucking, that's, uh, I don't, I hate it. I really do. No! For God's sakes! Kunai with chain! I'm waiting for somebody to attack Jerry Beans and I can turn him into defense mode. <sighs> oh my god. This is what you deal with when you put trap cards on the field. That's what dissuades me from doing it and sometimes it makes me lose duels. It's like, I'm so sick of all these pop-ups. That's like the main problem with this game. I don't know how they would alternatively go about it, but... Ugh. <sighs> I mean, they pretty much have to prompt you, don't they? Because otherwise, how would you use your trap card at the right time? For fuck's sake. Anyway, what is that card? And can I kill it? Graceful Charity. Might as well. Maybe we can get something nice here. No, I don't need to chain Kunai with Chain to Graceful Charity. What the hell? Ooh, Gaia Power again. I do need Gaia Power, which means now... I am going to get rid of Palmerization and Baby Dragon. Because now our strategy has shifted a bit. No, do not activate the effect of a goddamn card. Okay, so now we can summon Axe Raider. Because we've got our two Earth Monsters that can make Gaia Power super nice here. No. Fuck's sake. Alright, Gaia Power. No! Uh, no, do not activate the effect of a card. Alright, you got that? When an opponent in the or with target one phase, you control equip this card to that target against 500 attack. You know what? Maybe just to destroy the prompts, I will do that. Just because it's so goddamn annoying right now. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you know what? I'm doing it. Activate effect. Uh, equip it to Jerry Beans, man. Now it's 2750. Now it's even more unstoppable. All right. And they lose defense, so I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't worry about anybody like matching my stats here. Harpy Dancer. Harpy Dancer. Minus 2750 for you. Mai's gonna go down this game. Oh yeah. 
Oh, Hysteric Party is gonna get Chandler in defense mode. And Dancer in defense mode. And then that card in defense mode. Oh, you really did a good job buffing your defenses there. Special summon as many copies of Harpy Lady as possible. When this face-up card leaves the field, destroy those monsters. If I could destroy that card, I could destroy all those guys, but I can't, unfortunately. It's so pointless to sacrifice a monster for Rukaiser for an extra 100 attack. Come on now. But we've got the Earth Monsters to take advantage of Gaia, which means all these guys are going to go down. They are going to go down. Kill you. Kill you. Kill you. Okay, you wanted to save that so you could special summon... Well, actually, you wouldn't be able to do that either, because you got no cards in your hand. So, what are the odds that it would be Elegant Egotist, anyway? Okay. This duel is on the ropes for you. Masaki the Legendary Swordsman, except... Well, if only Flame Manipulator wasn't gone. Actually, that was the last duel, I think. Anyway, we're going to summon it regardless. Because it's Earth, it's going to gain, like... It's going to be, like, 1600. It's not terrible. I mean, it's, it is, but, like... It's terrible in relation to everybody else. Mm, Harpy Lady dies... Jerry Beans Man, our MVP, and we'll let Masaki get the final kill just so he feels like he did something. We win! Feels good. How? How could I ever lose to such an amateur? My, I tried to tell you that there's more to Duel Monsters than just kicking the other guy's butt. If you're ever going to be a real champion, you got to learn to care about someone other than yourself. All right, we got Mountain, we got Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation, we got Takuhi, which sucks. And we got a bunch of victory duel points, so that's cool. All right, Attack from the Deep versus Mako Tsunami. The truth and power of the Millennium Puzzle was beginning to dawn on Yugi during his duels. The puzzle infused Yugi with the power and soul of an ancient spirit. Though this was a major issue to ponder, there was a smaller but no less important matter to deal with first. Oh, this dueling made me hungry. Did any of you guys remember to bring any food with you? Sorry, Joey. What were we thinking? Coming here with no food. How are we ever going to get through the rest of the competition without anything to eat? That's a good question, Joey. This dueling really takes it out of you, and I haven't seen any burger stands or restaurants since we got here. Ah, oh, I smell something cooking that away. They followed the scent to the beach where they spotted a campfire with several roasting fish in the distance. Oh man, I just love barbecued fish. Smells good, and I bet it tastes even better. What makes you think those fish are yours to eat? Hey, trust me, we eat first and ask questions later. Your stomachs will thank me. Joey ran down to the campfire. Joey would say anything to fill his belly. Some people have absolutely no self-control. <laughs> Joey, save some for me! Tristan ran after Joey. It wasn't long before Yugi and Terry joined them as well. Joey grabbed one of the fish from the fire. Aw, oh, man, this looks awesome! Just as the team began to bite into the fish, a young man emerged from the ocean with a spear in his hand. Enjoy yourselves, you fish thieves, for this is your last meal! I knew this was a bad idea. How dare you steal my fish, you bottom-feeding thieves! Hey, chill out, guy. It's just a few fish. A few fish that do not belong to you. And to steal a fisherman's catch is to prove you have no honor. Wait a second. Aren't you Mako Tsunami, the top-ranked ocean duelist? And who might you be? I'm Yugi Muto. Sorry about your fish. You're Yugi Muto, the only duelist ever to defeat Seto Kaiba. What a fine surprise. I must apologize. I've been ungracious. If you are friends of Yugi Muto, please come sit down and eat your fill. The team sat down to the fire and shielded me with Mako. After the feast, the team thanked Mako and started to head out when Mako threw his spear at the ground in front of them. I treated you to dinner. Perhaps you will honor me with a duel. He's nuts. No, but I am an expert fisherman, and you have taken my bait. What bait? Why, the fish, of course. I laid it out and lured you three right in, but I never expected to catch Yugi Moto. I reeled in another duelist a short time ago, but he was not a worthy opponent. But a duel against you, Yugi, would be a true test. Mako Tsunami, I accept your challenge! Story deck. Bujingi Peacock. Alright. Mako, what are you gonna do? God, this series hurts the hell out of my voice, but it's fun, so we'll keep doing it. Ah. Anything to get me in the recording seat again, because I keep putting it off. As you can probably tell by the fact that it's been like one video a day for the last six months. Not six months, like a week, but still. Okay, Beaver Warrior, Mirror Force is nice. Attack of the Moon once per turn when a battle position of a Rock-type monster you control has changed. You can target one spell, trap card, destroy that card. That's pretty nice. Only Problem with that is that I have no Rock-type monsters, so 
you know. I'm not activating Mirror Force either. I'm not gonna set it even yet, because that seems... Although I could, I could set it, and I could just use that as like... Because Mako doesn't really have any like, super heavy hitting cards. I could use Mirror Force just to destroy whatever card he decides to attack this with, and then give me free reign of his life points for the next turn. Fiend Kraken. I don't even have to do that. Activate the effect of a card? No, because you already can't kill it. You're retarded. I like it. Okay, but you got that. All right, Spellbinding Circle is nice to have as well. I am not going to set it, though, because that also activates that string of prompts. So what we're going to do is sacrifice Beaver Warrior for Curse of Dragon right now. Just don't be a dick and have some kind of bullshit trap card right there. Okay, good. I like it. I approve of your lack of trap cards. Let's end our phase. Umi, as expected. Do we still have Burning Land? Because the cards do change even though we're Yugi all this time. Like, he uses different cards. Pot of Greed gets me Mystical Moon for Beasts, which is nice. Dark Magician. Alright, I guess... I will set Mammoth Graveyard and then possibly use Mirror Force to block an attack that would kill it just so I can sacrifice these two to summon Dark Magician. But I have not committed to that yet. But it is a good idea, so we'll see what happens. Ah, fuck. Well, now I have to do it, because otherwise I can't kill Island Turtle. Um... Oh, that's right. In the story, he used Attack the Moon to kill Yumi, I think. So that's a nice little Easter egg thing there. Like, Attack the Moon is what won in the duel. Unfortunately, I don't have the Rock-type monster to make it work. Alright, de declared battle. Mirror Force is only going to kill that card, though, so it's still kind of... But I still need to... Yeah, okay, we'll activate it. Kill that. Okay, now we can do Dark Magician. And he even got Beaver Warrior. Terrific. Summon. Okay, what rock type does... He has Giant Soldier of Stone. That's the only rock type I can think of that Yugi has in his deck. Alright, kill. And yeah, when you use, like, the special signature cards, it gives you a little... a little something there. I did forget to mention, you can buy this game on PS4, on the PlayStation Store digitally for, like, it's 20 bucks, which is good. I think that's super worth it. Because this is like a fully-fledged Yu-Gi-Oh! game. You know what I'm saying? Like, if Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness came out in, um... And, like, its base price was $20, you'd be like, that's a really good price. I'm gonna buy that. And this is basically the same... I mean, it's more like if, like, the Mount Battle was the only part of the game. But I, it's not really, because there's different stuff in this game, too. Let's not count ourselves out. We'll summon Beaver Warrior. How about just ignore everything that I've been talking about for the last 30 seconds? I think that would help out. Alright, Flying Fish dies, so that's cool. John's texting me saying, No, don't play Story Mode! I don't know why, because we've, I've still got so many duels to catch up on before we get to where we were. He doesn't want it spoiled. But again, you know, it's I'm not going to get there for a long time. At least, like, a few videos. What did that just do? Activate only when Umi is face up on the... You take no battle damage from... Oh, fuck! No, no, Tornado Wall! Okay, now I need my Rock-type monster, because I need to get rid of that shit. Or get rid of Yumi, which would in turn get rid of that shit. But... Okay, we have ourselves a, a problem. 
I need, like, Dust Tornado or something. I can't imagine a deck that does not have Dark Tornado or Dust Tornado in it. Or, or D Spell or something like that. We're not going to take any battle damage. They're not going to take any battle damage, no matter what, until I kill that. Uh, I need a rock type. Where is my rock type, man? I'll set this. The cards still get destroyed. So I do still have to destroy the cards. It's just becoming more and more pointless. So we're gonna keep setting cards. And I guess just wait for that fateful card to enter my hand. Otherwise we're playing major stall tactics here. Okay, two Attack of the Moon cards is not something I need. Come on guys. Oh, but you did not attack my Horn Imp, which is nice. Well, summon Curse of Dragon. Most of your Umi cards still can't take that out, so that's fine. Island Turtle. We can kill that. Okay. Plus, also, you don't have to watch my story, John, you asshole. You retarded idiot. So, wh I don't get it. You're just making a big deal out of nothing, man. That's all it is. Rock? Rock! Oh, here we go. Okay, once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. When this card is flipped, summon, target one monster your opponent controls, return that target. Ooh, so I could do that for, like, ever. Okay, so now... I have to activate this. And then set this card. I'm not going to get to activate it until the next turn. At least activate this. I need something... You didn't even spawn a monster. I, it would be nice if I had something that could just protect this card from being attacked. Because he does have cards that could kill it. Like, I, I'll direct attack you and it'll do nothing. I'll direct attack you and it'll do nothing. So let's end our phase. I need this to work out for me. Okay, that's not enough to kill it. That's so good. That is super good. Okay. Change to attack position. Activate the effect of attack the moon. It's so likely that he'll just replace this with another Umi card. So that's why I want to destroy this instead first. Okay, so we got that. And I can activate this effect and return your card... Oh no, that, that's what that does. Change it. Well, I changed it again. It should really let me do it twice then. Oh, once per turn, okay. Oh, but if I had both of them, I could have done it in there. I see where I messed up, but... Oh well. Battle phase. Kill Great White. Let's start making some actual headway, huh? Video's running over a little bit. Not that there is a time limit. I mean, my fucking Ziggurat video was like an hour. And that wasn't even on purpose. But, uh, yeah, you know. I'd rather have quantity in terms of videos than in terms of actual time of those videos. Just, it helps satiate, like, the flow of my uploading schedule. I need that, uh, I need to have videos to upload on a consistent basis. When this card is flip summoned, I can, yep, I can flip summon it right now, in fact. And as I do that, I can also activate Attack the Moon. Yep, let's get rid of that. Yeah, activate, get rid of Umi right now. 
Wow, that's a that's such a terrific combo when you think about it. Golem Sentry and Attack the Moon, that's great. That's just really good. And then also now I can, you know, flip it right back to defense mode. Oh, if I had some, like, yellow luster shields back in that defense, that would be, like, an unbeatable combination. Um, I haven't summoned anyone yet, have I? No, I did not. I don't have polymerization, otherwise I'd fuse with that, unfortunately. Add another 825, 2004. Oh, we don't need it. We'll just go to battle phase and kick his ass! Okay, Meiko Tsunami has been defeated. That makes me feel a little better about myself. What a grand duel! I salute you, my friend! This victory was not easily won, Mako. You're a great duelist yourself. Oh, we got Mad Lobster, Fortress Whale's Oath, Amphibian Beast, and 1,560 stuff. You'd get more if you if it was the first time you beat him. All right, the next duel will be Dinosaur Duelist, but that's going to be happening in the next video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the series. If you do, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and whatnot, and I will see you guys next time.